Hello again and welcome. It's just going to be a real short video. This is a new meter from Harbor Freight. These are the ones that they give away for free. See it powers up just fine. So I noticed something. Again, I just purchased this meter yesterday. You'll notice that the older meters went up to a thousand volts for the DC and 750 volts for the AC. So in those last couple of videos I was showing that most meters will typically have a 1k ohm resistor that's in series with about a 1.5k ohm or so PTC. And I was basically showing that that circuitry was not adequate to protect the circuit board if something were to arc over. So David made a couple of videos following that up where he was basically showing that the 121GW was rated for 600 volts and he went ahead and he applied 1100 volts to that meter. He's basically saying, look, you know, this meter is only rated for 600. It's obviously capable of handling, you know, almost two times that amount. I think that was the limit of his power supply. So in the case of these cheap meters here, there is no high voltage resistor. There's no PTC. There's no MOVs. You know, these are basically a no frills meter. Like I say, Harbor Freight will still give these away. So what we're going to do is just turn these all on and we'll set them to their maximum range now. I don't know if this particular meter, if they change the firmware, I kind of doubt it. So hopefully this meter will still read up to a thousand volts. So let's just go ahead and we'll turn on our power supply. And you can see, as you can see the new meter reads just a little high. So here we are at roughly 680 volts. You can see both meters are not having any problems with this at all. And let's just go ahead and we'll take it up to 1100. And there you go. So no problems at all, even with our free meters handling this kind of voltage. Okay, so on my left here you can see I have our AC high voltage power supply out. Again, this meter goes up to a maximum of 750 volts. Go ahead and turn it on, Let's see what happens here. So there's about 350 or so. 600. Seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, a little over a thousand volts. I'm sure this would just show over range. Yep. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. Again, I just want to show that it's not that difficult for the manufacturers to produce the cheap meters that will actually handle voltages like that. I think the real question here is more if you're looking for a meter that you can use safely in an environment where you have high energy circuits, you know, with high voltages. You know, you want to be looking for meters that have been certified for that. I certainly wouldn't take a meter like this into a Cat 3 environment. Well, that's all for now. Until the next video. Later.